My people, my people, my people. Welcome back to another great video with the Florida man. We are here and we are shopping. Uh, let's see what happens. I do want to show the finds from the last few days. So we're definitely going to do that in this video. I also want to check the Transformers micro machines. We got to see if Optimus is in there or does the Florida man need a shrink wrap machine? All right, everyone. It's a friendly reminder that today is Mother's Day. I'm very glad it came out early today. Happy Mother's Day, mom. That being said, folks, we have two fresh F cases, an FLR and an FLR. Uh, some codes there. No codes there. I think that means nothing. Oh, a little blue quality control. Could that mean anything? Alrighty, folks. Always check the main from the previous case. We know that. Oops. Oh my gosh. Uh, we're definitely going to grab the Jeep. Just because I know people want the Jeep. There is a Miata. There is the Cosmic Coupe. S2000. Uh, 86. Tune Sylvie, 55 Chevy. All right, other Yeah, side. I just know, I just know, I just know I'm not gonna find the soup, you know? You, some, you can just feel them. And, uh, and it's okay, I just can tell. I'm not gonna find the Civic Type R. I just know it, so no big deal. Uh, check the rest of the case just to make sure. Nissan Protos, Batmobile, and another Nissan Proto, some Barbies in here. Um, I am gonna grab that because it's so nice and I have the, uh, the ones coming from the order. This card is not great. We'll check the next case and maybe grab one. I don't need a ton. I just want some to go with uh, the ones I ordered from the Mattel drop. And surprise, surprise, another C8 main in the bottom. So two were in here. Very interesting. Alrighty, folks, there is our bubble matic. We are going to retest. Oh, there's our Jeep. And uh, that's it. We'll check the C8. It's a main. And let's check the other side. It's the main. It is the main, unfortunately. And that is going to be it. I only saw one Nissan in that other case, so that was kind of strange. Um, we will look through here just to make sure. And of course I'm going to hang these up. So uh, that'll give me a second opportunity to look through. But yeah, I only saw one of these Liberty Walks. As far as I know. Let's go get these up on the pegs. What the heck is that? Why are there so many Mustangs? Did they get the shipper? There's the Beetle or Returns. It's hard to tell. These... They look like shipper, they look like returns. It's, it's a very, very tough to say. There we go, there we go. Look at that, guys. Full pegs for the collectors today at the Target. Nissan Proto, uh, Toon Silverado, Honda S2000, the Mighty K69 Chevy pickup, uh, Valhalla, McLaren, Barbie, Latroca, another tuned. Man, these pegs are just stacked. Another one. This poor, poor Bel Air got hit. All right, I got to grab the Mother's Day gift. Do I want some F cases? I guess. Um, I did forget about the Silverados in there, and even though they're not reds, uh, they're still going to have some value, even if it's not today. I don't care if I got to put those away for two years. Um, other than that, it's everything you saw. I did grab two more S15, Jeeps, the Civics, and probably the boxes, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, do a quick look. Oh, see? Here they are. Here they are. So, yeah, they could have a gold. They could have a silver. Ooh, Ace Ventura. Okay. They could have a gold. They could have a silver. I'm really curious about those two car sets. Like, where did they come from? Where did they come from? Where did they go? You guys know the rest of that song. Probably. Probably, anyway. You probably do. Uh, Matchbox, nothing. Nothing. I don't see anything new. There is that Integra here. Maybe another Integra here. Maybe those came in. Tons of the white Camaro. The Dodge Stealth, of course. Of course. And now the Lincoln Continental is joining, is joining those ranks, folks. 
Eight, nine, ten, no chase, no chase. Um, we, we might be able to go to another store. If not, I'm just gonna head back to the house. All right, there we go. I did take two boxes for some storage because I am uh, starting to put things away for listings. Uh, here's our cars, our Mother's Day gift is there. Good to go. I did do some hunting last so, night. So uh, watch those clips real quick. I'm gonna drive home and then we'll go over the finds from the last few days at all those O'Reilly's and Family Dollar and all that stuff. So I'm walking in now, Let's see what happens. You never know, you never know. I'm curious. Well, I'm not seeing much yet. I'm pretty sure that was here. Corvette is back, so interesting, huh? Because I know it was gone, then it's back. Stars and stripes like crazy. Do we have the haul? Unbelievable, nobody wants a haul. Barrel is still full. Some junk, some theft. Bell Air right there. G case, G case. Stars and stripes theft. Wow, this stuff just got, I mean, it just got ran through, you know? Barbie Extra still in here. Unbelievable. Tuned Batmobile from the E-Case. Wow. All right, this is all we got, and that's all we're going to get, I am told. I have looked through it. There is nothing. It is time to roll to the next store. All right, here we go. This is the second stop of the evening, and it is also out of rotation. I'm out of rotation. Just want to see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix it up, you know? I want to mix it up tonight. All right, we got a pallet. I went through it. Nothing's in there. It's all the same stuff. It's all the same stuff. It's all the same. And I'm telling you, we should just start a counter. Those are going to be there forever. Forever. I'm not really seeing much here, guys. Like, I almost am debating if I want to continue this or just call it a night. Okay, just kidding. I was totally gonna go home and then I was like, you know what? Let's try this other spot. Again, this is the store that has not been good to us. Maybe it's time, I'm not sure. From what I can see, oh, look at all those two cars, dude. They're getting two cars. They're getting them. That's weird. I don't see any GTRs, obviously. Oh, no way. Back to the future. Oh, come on. Did someone do that on purpose? Someone did that on purpose. I am so sure. I am so sure. Let's see. If I can find the Jeep, then that will say a lot about what's going on here. Give me a second, I wanna go fast, guys. I can't do that with my phone in my hand. All right, we are currently getting help, so hopefully we're gonna see something come out because I don't think everything was put out. I feel like some of the cars are, are somewhere. Oh, we're waiting a little something for the Funko fans. Neo, Trinity, Morpheus, wow. There is a bunch here. I wonder if Neo has a chase, could you imagine? I don't really know if he does, you know, some of them do, some of them don't. It's not like other companies where anything could be a chase. This company does specific chases. Okay, he brought out like a few loose cars. Obviously somebody in the store is a collector. Wow, look at all the wow on this table. I mean, maybe not those, but Anyway, let's go over our finds from the last few days. California lowriders. Dude, the California sun is on the card. I just noticed that. For some reason, I, I'm so used to going around the reflection of the light. I just assumed that it was part of the light. So yeah, that is so cool, man. We got two of the pink 64 Gypsy Rose Lowrider, that's right. Thanks to the guys in the comments, we know that the name of this car is the Gypsy Rose. I don't know if it's an IRL car, I did ask that. Um, I'm trying to reply to everyone's comments. I know it's easy to reply to the first one. The problem is they don't give me a good notification if you reply to me. Then I have to go to each video, scroll through, find the reply. Anyway, I'm trying to reply to everyone. So if you guys know if that's an IRL car, I would love to know. I, I mean, it's if it's got a name, the Gypsy Rose. I did tell my boy about the Mustang and he sent me a picture back. He's got 
two, three, I don't even know how many. So uh, we're either keeping or throwing this up on the Mercari listings when they come out, which should be soon. I know I keep saying that uh, the state of Florida is holding me up here. It's not me. If they take any longer than a week or two, then I'm just gonna go around it. Uh, Freedom Machine 85. This is actually part of, I guess you could call it a chase set. Uh, it doesn't have a chase sticker. There is no production numbers. The prices are all over the place. I looked them up anywhere from $25 to $65. So I can't give you a, a real value other than $25. It costs less than that. It's such a cool, I'm not even a big Camaro guy, but the IROC Z, who wouldn't love those? And it's such a cool paint job. It's, there's a bunch of these cars actually. So from the research I did and, and what I'm told, there's a, a Silverado, a Bronco, and a couple other cars. It's uh, maybe four, I think, four different vehicles that go in this Freedom Machine 85 set. Would have loved to find the square body, honestly. That would have been cool. But the Camaro is cool, too. I would take this over the Bronco We for sure. have our main line to our chase. And if you missed it, so here they are side by side. Uh, as you can see, 750-piece limited edition. So cool. Dodge Super B. I love having them both. I don't always get the main to go with the chase. I used to do that when I first started collecting. And now it just depends on the actual car or the the card art so i'm a big fan of the card art i love the style these are the racing stripes that are on the car the old mopars have that exact graphic on them so that's why i love this so happy to have both i really i don't mind having the main wow only 6400 pieces that's pretty low actually so cool. Let's look at some of the differences that we can compare here in real time. So obviously the wheels are different. It has a, a mag style wheel. It's a little, it's just a different design. It's a little bit different. I don't know how to explain it. You could see it right there and right there. So there you go, it's a little different. We also have a different color interior. So on our main, we have a black interior and on the chase, it's I guess red. And somebody in the comments, shout out to you, homie, pointed out that the M2 logo is on the back window. The tires also say Goodyear on the main and, and high performance M2 machines on the chase. So just a few differences, wheels, tires, interior, and the back window. Back to our O'Reilly's fine. Oh, wait a minute, we're missing one. There we go, that looks better. So yes, we did find three of the GTOs, so we'll certainly be giving away one of these. We have two of the yellow Camaro, Chevrolet SSRS 396. Dude, it's so nice. I just love these little cards and the, the wheel kits in there. It's such a cool product, really. They did such a nice job. Cast Line is the manufacturer of M2 machines, Cast Line Inc. So nice job, Cast Line. You guys did a real nice job with this set. Dodge Charger RT 1971. I'm not normally a 70s muscle car guy, but the detail on this is unbelievable. 1971. Wow, there's even a little RT and some kind of emblem right there on the back. So nice. 5,000 pieces made. Uh, I am super happy to get some of these exclusives. I love exclusives. You saw the Torino under the awesome Florida sun, that South Florida sun showing all that flake. Uh, it looks like, yeah, so the, oh wait, no, the Camaro has it too. It's hard to see, let's see, can we, yep, there it is. So there is a mild metal flake in the Camaro. I thought it was all yellow, but then I just saw the little glistening of the paint. So it looks like everyone has metal flake. Does this one? No, I don't see it on the charger. It's gotta just be the Torino GTO and Camaro. And thanks to the family dollar we got the 54th anniversary set. I'll be honest, I expected to walk into that store and walk right Here's out. Here's a nice close-up shot of the 49 Ford F1. Wow, that paint is nice, man. 
all the metal flake in this one. So yeah, these are pretty cool. Uh, it's a it's a cool anniversary set. It's, I wish they had a chase, you know, they've always done a chase in the anniversary set. So I'm not sure why we didn't get one in this set or even the set before it or the other three before it or however many. I think we're up to four waves of the anniversary set this year. They've always just done one, but don't worry. I am going to look for more. Uh, I just got the three sets because the cards were not that great there. I was lucky to pull three good sets, honestly, uh, but I will definitely get some more so that other people that didn't have a chance to find them in stores will be able to get and some. And it is time to find out. 2B01, 1B01. So I think that's Optimus and I think that's Nemesis. Let's get these open. All right, let's start with, yeah. This should, no, let's start with Nemesis. Yeah, this should be Nemesis. I know they come with two, so I think, I don't know. I don't know if that code is like, you for sure got Optimus or you for sure got Optimus or the other car. Dude, what is that? That was not in the other one. What is that thing? What is that? Some kind of secret decoder window? I have the first one right here. That was not in, ugh. Yeah, see, man, it's just the instructions and the sticker sheet. Weird, what is up with that? Okay, I am so curious about that. All right, so if I remember, you have to use two hands. Dude, I got a peek, I got a peek in there. I saw, bum, 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 bum. Oh, what the heck is that? Dude, I, I got ripped off again? What is that? Is this Nem- did I do the codes wrong? Maybe this one's Nemesis? Is that Nemesis Prime? So this one has it too. They both have some Dakota right, I got a sneak peek, but I did that last time. Oh, we got him. We got him. We got him. That must be Nemesis. We must have got them both. Dude, that's kind of cool, man. That's kind of cool. I am Optimus Prime. Your right to have freedom is your right. We will leave if you ask. Ah, uh, not bad, not bad. Right, so no chase like we had in this one, which we're gonna give away, maybe right now. So yeah, the bases look pretty cool too. When I say base, I mean like, you know, this place that is like Optimus's base. Ooh, we got some tracks in there. I want to open this thing. Hold on. Well, I never looked on the back of the instructions. The uh, decoder thing. Reveal hidden alliance of Autobot or Decepticon. I did open this thing up and it's like that right now. I don't know. I don't know what has to happen. Playset E. I guess we have playset B. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this has to come, something. Oh, I see. There must be like a sticker, right? Place it be, I don't know. I'm gonna build these for sure. Like I'm totally gonna build these, but let's get that out and see. Oh, come on. You could see that thing. You don't need that thing to see what that's gonna say. And obviously that's gonna be a Decepticon sign if this is Nemesis Prime, duh. All right, let's see. Yeah, big surprise, Autobot. I mean, that's cool for the kids and stuff, but what I did notice there's the Decepticon and Autobot sign on each side. And of course, Nemesis Prime. Uh, um, hello? There we go. Nemesis Prime is a Decepticon. I am curious, like, what goes in there? You know what I'm saying? Like, what? Why? Is there a trailer somewhere or something? All right, I'm getting all these parts mixed up. Time out. I gotta do a quick organization. So that's pretty cool. At least we know the codes do work and they identify what is inside. It's not, I was afraid that it was gonna be either or and that code could have been, you know, the same on the set where you get this or the or the non-cool one, but it looks like they're matched straight up directly to the car inside. Uh, or 
optimists inside in our case. So I am definitely gonna build these and have them on display. Uh, I loved Micro Machines when I was a kid. I used to get them all the time. And I know people think they're a different quality now. Dudes, the cost of manufacturing since they were initially made is probably five or six times higher than it was. So yeah, they're not gonna be the same toy we remember, unfortunately. But again, they're not awful. I mean, there's some good detail in that little guy. Pretty sick, even though I can see through it. I don't really like that part, but you know, whatever. Once uh, I get the little play set all set up and he's chilling, it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm excited to see how they look and then I'll display them together with my die cast stuff as a little memento of my childhood. Oh, I will be giving away the ultra rare, like I said, okay? This has got to be an ultra rare. I'm going to give it away as that. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. You will get to assemble it yourself. Everything is still sealed. And uh, the sticker pack is right here. So you'll see that in the bottom of the box. So I'll put it nice and tidy for you there. And uh, this is the instruction sheet out of that. So we'll stick this in here because you're going to need that. So let's make this giveaway a little easier. The 20th person, okay? The 20th person in the United States to message me ultra rare, U-L-T-R-A-R-A-R-E, ultra rare. Spelling does not matter, guys, okay? Don't get a dictionary and try to figure, just ultra rare as close as you could get. The 20th email in the United States, I will get your address and I will have this out to you this week. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate all of you. you. You know that. I say it every video, and I'm not saying it for fun. I actually mean it. What a great few days of hunting, honestly. And uh, I didn't show the cars from today because you obviously saw them when I got them, so not a big deal. I appreciate everyone for being so, here. That being said, I will see you in the next one.